Have you ever thought that a dog can fight a lion? Throughout history, people have trained their companions for various jobs, including protecting them from lions, hunting, and fighting them. In comparison, the king of animals is twice the size of a large breed, also equipped with muscles, killer teeth, and claws. So it seems that dogs have no chance against a lion. In mythology, it's said that Alexander the Great had a Molosian dog named Peritas, which was so powerful that he had defeated a lion. Anyway, a war is not won only by direct fighting. Some dog breeds have been used by humans for centuries and decades to be very effective in their specific job of dealing with an animal like a lion. In this episode, 10 Lion Fighting Dog Breeds. If you're new here, subscribe to watch the new episodes first. Number 10, Borble. Stories are told that Borble dogs have killed lions in South Africa. The truth is that these dogs are fearless and very good defenders of animals against lions, where they've been used by farmers since the 16th century. The powerful bark, fighting character, and size make the Borble perfect for this job. Number nine. Rhodesian Ridgeback. These dogs are known as the African Lion Hounds due to their history of helping to hunt lions in the savannah. With a specific technique which demands courage and endurance, hunting in a pack, they could detect lions, single out an animal, and surround it. Taking turns, they would hit the lion each time from a different side, evading the lion's paws or jaws with great speed and agility. In such a manner, they would keep the lion pinned down until their master comes. Number 8. Neapolitan Mastiff The Neapolitan Mastiff is a direct descendant of the Molosian war dogs of antiquity. Evidence of the breed's origins date back to 3000 BC. Since the time of Alexander the Great, humans have forced mastiffs to fight men and large game, such as lions, tigers, and elephants, in gladiatorial entertainment. The breed is tough and stately looking, as well as powerful and solidly built where their large skin is a very efficient shield from bites. Number 7. Kian Gaul According to an old legend, a Kian Gaul dog was given to the Sultan of the Ottomans since that dog had killed a lion and the Sultan was very interested in it. Kian Gauls are among the most powerful dogs and among the oldest breeds in the world. Adaptability to climate has allowed Kian Gauls to be used even in Africa to protect from predators such as hyenas and lions. Number 6. Tibetan Mastiff This breed is most often compared to a lion because of its appearance. In August 2013, a new zoo was opened in Henan province in China, where instead of a lion, they introduced a Tibetan Mastiff. Some visitors were disappointed after the lion started barking. In addition to their magnificent appearance, these Mastiffs are supreme guardians and fighters, where throughout history, they have also been used for show fights with lions. Number 5. Bloodhound Even in these days of high technology, no scenting device yet invented is as accurate as the Bloodhound nose. The history of this breed goes back a thousand years in the Middle Ages where many princes and monks developed it and named it Blooded Hounds, meaning of aristocratic blood. A bloodhound will not leave its path until it finds its prey and in the most difficult terrains, which has made it one of the most used dogs for illegal hunters in Africa to hunt lions. Number 4. Fila Brasileiro A relatively new breed from Brazil with very pronounced bloodhound genes but more powerful and aggressive, the Fila Brasileiro breed was bred and raised primarily on large plantations and cattle farms where they originated. They were taught to chase down jaguars, cattle, and other animals, as well as runaway slaves. When a Fila Brasileiro finds a jaguar or a lion, it does not attack it, but rather holds it at bay until the hunter arrives. Number 3. Alibi This breed is known for its fearlessness towards large predators. They are very courageous and have a high working capacity, endurance, and a natural instinct of territory. As a natural selection, this breed is very old. Stories from the time of the Silk Road show that these dogs were mostly used for protection and survival from extreme climates and predators was the main thing. A few alibi dogs as a companion would be your salvation from a wandering lion. 
Number 2. Slogi Slogi type hounds were favored hunting companions of Egyptian nobles, Berber kings, and nomadic chieftains who kept packs of tough but graceful hounds that could track game across vast expanses. They were mostly used to hunt games such as rabbit, fox, jackal, gazelle, and wild boar. But rocky paintings show her when hunting for antelopes, mouflons, giraffes, and lions. Number 1. Basenji Basenjis are believed to be the oldest known dog breed, dating back to long before the Egyptian pyramids were built. They are depicted in Egyptian hieroglyphics, proving to have been popular at that time. Their known area of origin is Central Africa around the Congo. In Kenya, the dogs are used to lure lions out of their caves. Maasai hunters use about four of these dogs at a time to find lions and get them out in the open. Once a lion leaves the safety of its cave, hunters form a circle around the big cat and then kill it with their spears. Most dog breeds will hunt using either sight, like greyhounds, or smell, like bloodhounds. But Basenjis use both sight and smell to find their prey. This makes them suitable for hunting and fighting lions. However, under normal circumstances, a direct confrontation with a lion would be fatal for any type of dog. But what do you think for a tiger? Would a pack of big breed dogs beat him? Write in the comments. Also, suggestions for next episodes are welcome.